I've made so many mistakes in my career, and in fact, it just happened right now, so I wanted to get on and share three of some of the biggest theme mistakes that I've made throughout my career, and also share ways how I'm trying to get better and make sure they don't happen in the future. The first one is what just happened to me at work right now, is jumping to conclusions. Jump to conclusions, Matt. Even if you know something intimately, it's always good to double check and triple check and verify every step of your thought process to make sure that when you say something, you can back it up. You can back it up with what you already have looked into. I know it feels slower that you have to double check yourself along the whole way, but you'll actually find yourself finding the answers much faster that way, and you don't look like a complete fool when you say something that's not actually true. This is actually a good life lesson too, but it's you should always be super cautious when using the phrases always or never, because those are such ultimate statements. Real life is much more ugly than that, and there's always gonna be nuance in every sort of situation, especially in software. So instead of saying, always use this technology, always do this, never do that, you should say something usually I would, I would prefer to do X, Y, Z. Otherwise, sometimes you can come off arrogant if they're not doing that, or if they're actually in a use case where that's not necessarily the best solution, then you look like you are just overconfident and you're not actually listening to the, the needs of the customer and the business. So now I try to say things like, normally I would like to do X, Y, Z, but Let's dig into this further and make sure that that's the right solution. The last one is simply just never make assumptions. The software world and building software and creating products, it's a, it's a weird space. Things happen that you never would have guessed. Things change all the time. You never wanna do the following things. You never wanna assume you know what the business needs. You never wanna assume that the person you're talking to knows what you're talking about. And another example is assuming that everyone is aware of something that you're talking about. There's this practice called level setting, and that is good to walk into most conversations and to make sure that everyone's on the same page that has the right, all the right information, all the right concerns, and everyone can start having a conversation from there where we can actually make proper progress and not leave someone behind and having them misunderstand what you're trying to say or misunderstand what we're trying to do in a meeting or in a conversation. This will save you so much pain and time and make you look more professional in the future. So like and subscribe if you wanna hear more of this kind of stuff about mistakes I've made in my career and trying to be very transparent of how I'm gonna to try to improve and hopefully you guys can improve too. So if you made it this far, just put an octopus in there and also just call me an idiot because I feel that way a lot. So I might as well just have the internet Call me an idiot, the internet, call me an idiot. That sounds like a fun time for me. Thank you for your time.